I'm taking a planned trip to London. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. Ooh, the lights are flickering a little bit. Hold on. <laughs> that looks very dark now. My name is Rose. My pronouns are she, her. And in this video, I'm taking you with me to a five day trip to London by train. Yesterday. I'm at the Eurostar about to check in for the train. They have a passport control and everything. What I didn't know before booking was that you actually have to be early for the passport and security check. So it, in the end, takes about the same amount of time as going to the airport. You have to be at least one hour, but preferably 90 minutes early for your train time. I made it through customs and passport control and all the things. And now we are heading up to the Eurostar waiting space and I'll have about one and a half hours to chill before the train goes. So the Eurostar train takes about four hours from Rotterdam to London Central Station and it goes underneath the channel between France and Britain. I think we're moving, everyone is getting up, so I guess I'm getting up too. <laughs> basically on the normal train station, except there's a glass wall right here. That separates us. People whose passport is already checked. I made it to my seat, but it's very, very tight. Smaller than normal train seats. Unfortunately, my seat didn't have a window, which was very unfortunate. Also, I was riding backwards and there was a person next to me who was very chatty and a little bit smelly. I just had my first London dinner at this place with one of my good friends, Neve, who I met in university. She's the one who always got me drunk. And now she's a mom of two. And it's her birthday. Oh my gosh. Say happy birthday in the comments to Neve. Thank you. Right before this trip, I heard that there were actually bed bugs on the tube, on the metro. So I wasn't sitting down for about 40 minutes on my ride to the hotel, but I did see a lot of other people sitting down. In the end, I just risked it and sat down because it was a long trip. Made it to Richmond. Now we're walking. I think I made it to the hotel, which by the way is not sponsored. Look at those nice colors. I was going to give you a room tour, but I think I can do it like this. <laughs> That's it. It's a double bed with a little bit of space on that side of the bed, a little bit of space on that side with a little desk, with a thing with lights inside. Oh, it's a kitchen, what? They hid a kitchen in here. I love the thing above the bed, beautiful colors, but then this is the entrance and a little bit of space here. And the bathroom with a little bit of space, a little bit of space but enough. I started my first morning very relaxed with some meditation and some stretches in bed. And then I went to a yoga class around the corner in Richmond. I 
just finished a yoga class, which was right next to a building site. It was a little bit loud with the noises, but still the class itself was really nice. Time to get unsweaty, go to the hotel and shower. Later. I just booked a trip to a musical tonight, Hamilton, which I'm super excited about. And then I think today I'm gonna hang out in Kew Garden and make a video, a separate video. Although I'm also going to Kew on Saturday, which is in two days. Time to get on a bus. I said Q will be a separate video. I feel pretty overstimulated now, so I'm heading back to the hotel, I think, to have some food and a drink and probably a nap. I didn't want to leave just yet, so I got a drink and a snack, and hopefully that will help me feel a little bit better, some sugar. Later that same evening. <laughs> Dinner on the train. Look at this! I made it! I treated myself to tickets to Hamilton! <laughs> Look at this beautiful building! Let's go inside. Look at this place! Thank you! Wow, everything is so shiny! I'm afraid our bathroom is gonna be like this because we picked shiny gold. Look at how adorable these booths are. You can sit there in a little private booth. And then over here is the stage. Let's go find my seat. G21. It's a really, really good seat. So this is my seat, and this is the stage. <laughs> Wild. Three hours later. I'm at Victoria train station to get home to my hotel. Oh, it was beautiful. Can you see my makeup? I was crying so much. <sighs> the next day. Good morning. It is full day two. I'm currently walking along the Thames because yesterday I got a headache after Q and I still of course had to go to the musical, didn't want to miss that. And then my headache got worse so I stayed in bed until like 11 today trying to get rid of it, sleeping, drinking a lot of water and now I'm out here for some fresh air. If you don't know, I'm still recovering from a brain injury. I fell, can you see my scar? I fell back in 2020, hit my head, and I have a long lasting concussion called post-concussion syndrome. So a lot of things can be overstimulating, especially if I don't know what to expect. It's beautiful here. There's a little ceramic studio right there. That's super cool. And then there's a horse and carriage that was, I think for a wedding or something. Beautiful horses. Hey Ben. So I'm doing a headspace mindful walking thing. So seagulls, there's swans, there's lots of boats. It's really, really nice here. It feels very peaceful. I am still in London, kind of. Richmond is quite far outside of the city center, but it's like nature as well. Waterstones used to be my favorite, really nice shop. It's amazing to be in there, but at the same time, I'm seeing all the titles and reading all the things it gives me more of a headache, so it's just nice to see. And hopefully when I'm editing this, I'll enjoy it a little bit again and more. The sun is out, 
think I'm gonna head back to the hotel and sleep some more. Six hours later. On this headache day, I was actually supposed to visit James Slug Plants on Instagram and James Armstrong here on YouTube to film his collection. But because I wasn't feeling well, I decided to only meet him for dinner. It was so nice to catch up. I've met him before in person. He is a yoga teacher like me. He is such a beautiful soul and he has amazing plants as well. So maybe next trip that I do to the UK, I can visit his plants and film them. Or maybe we can get him to make YouTube videos again, James. I think the people would love to see your collection again. However, whatever state it is in now. The next morning. This buddy has been running around around my window and it's so fun. It's like I'm in the zoo. Hi! Look at this beautiful little animal. It's so close that it just keeps chilling here. I was too late but he was doing like yoga stretches. It was so cute. Good morning. I'm at a restaurant to have some breakfast. It was a little bit of a struggle to find one. I don't know if you can hear the music here as well. It's pretty loud everywhere and I just spent a day in bed from a headache so I'm not quite sure yet how it's gonna go, but I have an avocado sandwich. Let's try. It tasted really nice, but the music was not great for my head. So I quickly went outside again. Look at this beautiful place somewhere in Richmond. <laughs> I'm walking, oh, the Church of Mary Magdalene. And check out this pooping dog that I accidentally filmed. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> walking back to my hotel. I tried pumpkin spice just now for the first time. And since I don't drink coffee, it was pumpkin spice syrup with milk. They did warn me that it does not taste nice. It's too sweet and weird. But I said I want to try it anyway, and they gave it to me for free to try. They were right. It was not nice. But now at least I have an idea of what it tastes like, because it was always a mystery to me. Look at how beautiful fall and lovely it is. The sun is out. Nice day to go to Q. It was a relief to get a chai latte again. So much better. This time I visited Q with friends. Karen was here. She's one of my patrons. And James also came along again. This is James and Karen. And there's more people coming. Other friends were also in the garden at this time, but... <laughs> It was a little bit chaotic and we didn't get to see each other. I just got on the bus back to the hotel and I have the best seat in the front. Yeah. After another hour or so in my lovely hotel bed, I'm out to find some dinner and I have no idea where I'm going yet, but it's raining a lot so the hotel lend me a umbrella. I love Indian food. Day four. I am on the road again after four nights at this lovely hotel. I'm now moving because buses. Today is my last full day here, and tomorrow morning my train leaves at 6 a.m. So, this place where I was staying is really far away from the center, and the hotel I'm going to is like five minutes walk from where the train goes. I thought that was a little bit smarter. just dropped my bags at the hotel so now I just have my handy uh, one for a friend and this shoulder bag thingy oh, feels much better now let's try and find a location where we're doing the plant swap how oh, very Harry Potter I already have a headache so we'll see how this whole social day goes I made it to the location for another plant swap there's a bunch of people already. I got in a little bit early. I am arriving at another plant swap with Aaron. I'm gonna skip the line and see everyone inside. Let's go. 
Hello. Good morning. Wow. Good morning. Behind the scenes before it gets started. Everyone's waiting out already. And now everyone is setting up in about half an hour officially. I think the swapping is starting. And there's so many nice people. Let's go see. I finally got to meet Sarah, hey. I'm person the plant rescuer. It's so nice to meet people. Nice you. Nice you're nice to see you in person. Come to the next class up and you'll get to meet her as well. She's one of the speakers today. Well, it's like a QA, something like that. Yeah. With Johnny. With Johnny, yeah. He will be here soon. Yeah. Okay. Look at this place. It's so full of people and plants. It's so nice to see everyone in person. We have Claire here and Sarah. And then, so Ninja, this is <laughs> Lev and Aaron being very natural. So ready. Aaron! Aaron, give us a wave. Oh god, hello! Do you want to photograph this? I'll let you. Oh, yes please. I love this one. Is this uh, yours? Look at all these beautiful plants. From very common to very rare. Look at how many people there are. Are you together? Here is Johnny. Say hello to my hello to my vlog. Hello to your vlog. <laughs> hello, Johnny. Boo. Everyone gets a little table where they can put all their plants with little labels too. It's really well organized. This is some of the organizers, Lisa and Beth, volunteers. And then we have Emma somewhere behind there, who's very busy, I think. There's so many tables. There's a bunch here, there's a huge one here in the center, there's one in the back there, and then over here is Aaron again, <laughs> and Foil Ninja, and Ben! Hello! On your marks! Get set! Swap! The swapping has officially started, so it's very interesting to see how that works. People are just wandering around, looking at other people's plants, and then making a good deal maybe. Swaps happening, nice plants being swapped, and also drinks. I love it. Beautiful Hoya over here. I didn't know there'd be Hoya. Yeah, so cute. Ace of Spades. It's a creator's meeting. We're having some food as a little break with Johnny and Mo, Sarah, and Sarah, Ben and his girlfriend. Look at all the nice food! Sarah and Johnny we are about to do a Q&A, so let's hear what they have to say. Rescued some orchids from a local DIY shop and it's kind of continued from there. I would go to all my local shops and try and save as many plants as I possibly could. What are your thoughts on flowers on houseplants and any pollination tips? The tips on it is if you want to get seeds, try and grow anthuriums or or uh, philodendron by, by getting seeds, then definitely it's something For these guys and their sponsors, Soil Ninja and Liquid Gold Leaf. My online friend Bobby came to say hello and I took some pictures with Ben and Johnny. It's the end of the event and the free table is packed with plants. At the end of the event, the organizers took a group photo that I was invited to join as well. And of course, I made a little video about it because that's right. even more fun One, to see. One, two, three. I'm just taking a bun. <laughs> Thank you. When the event ended, several of us had to go to the same train tube station. So we decided to have a quick drink in a pub around the corner from there, which was lovely. And I was so happy that my hotel was very close to the location of the event. <sighs> I'm totally out of breath from getting to the hotel. It's on the third floor with no lifts and a lot of luggage. But let's check out my hotel room. It's a bit dark still. Here is the, oh wait, that's better. Here's the bed. Window on the quiet side of the building, they said. Very cute over here. And then here is a little sink area. Hello. And the bathroom, toilet, I don't know what that is, but shower. All we need for a relaxing night. <sighs> I still have to eat though, so I have to get back up. <sighs> I 
I didn't go for a very original dinner, but I'm in a rush. I already have my retainer in, so I sound a little bit weird, but it's uh, 8.30, <laughs> and I'm gonna go to sleep now because I have to get up at about 4.30 to get to the train in time. So, at least it's a comfy bed, it's a nice room, and I'm not gonna enjoy it very long. <laughs> but tomorrow I'm gonna see my cat again, and my boyfriend, and some of my plants. The next day, it's almost five. I'm doing pretty well. I've slept about seven hours, and I'm packed. Little bag, backpack, suitcase. Let's go. Has anyone ever walked at this time through London? Oh, probably a lot of people, but still, it feels kind of weird. This is a lot bigger than the part in Rotterdam. Look at this. This is all for queuing for departures. Fingers crossed they don't take away my cheese and stuff. I made it through. Now, passport control, I think. And the people who work here sound French, which I think is fun. Besides me. <gasps> There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. Unfortunately, our train did not continue, so now there's a huge crowd of people here waiting to get hopefully another train. Luckily, I made a friend who reminded me it's important to eat. So now I have some healthy food. It's 10 and I was up at 4.30 and I still hadn't eaten breakfast yet, just some cookies, so yay. Stay tuned. Seems like we're not the only ones with a delay. Look at these. One hour, one and a half hours. Instead of a simple four hours by train back home, I had six and a half hours of delay and not just me sitting somewhere comfy for six and a half hours, but not knowing where to go, walking to one um, platform and then there being no train and then going back to another platform. This is what is currently happening. Everyone is waiting for news, but there is no news. They don't know what they're saying. Trying to figure out what the hell was going on. So. Apparently there are no trains to and from Rotterdam at the moment, which you need to pass to get to anywhere else in Holland, basically where I want to go. So there's a ton of people just waiting for any news. They're not giving any updates. Nobody knows anything. They keep sending us to different platforms. So I've decided to just start to make the most of it. Go to the toilet first, get something to eat and find a place to work. Because I think it's gonna be hours and maybe days. This just says the one to Amsterdam is to be confirmed, it's not confirmed yet. And the one to Rotterdam does not run today at all today. This was a very, very intense day for me. I was very worried I was not gonna make it or like not know what to do anymore. When I get too overstimulated, my brain just doesn't work properly anymore. So I was very happy that in the end I did make it on a train. Six and a half hours since we got kicked out of the train in Brussels. Is this the one we're gonna get on? I'm on the train. I don't think it's legal, <laughs> but Anes told me I can get on any train to the Netherlands. So here we are. I'm in the hallway area, but I have a little seat so I can manage. Stay tuned. If only just for a bit, there's a new day. It is waiting for us. There's a new day waiting around the bend. There's a new day. I 
I was so relieved to finally make it to Utrecht from where I could take a direct train to Leiden and then I had to take a bus home. Luckily, my boyfriend offered to come and pick me up so I didn't have to wait for a bus because by this point my brain was a little bit fried. Unfortunately, I only got about 25 euros back for a more than six and a half hour delay, which fungus gnat, is very disappointing. Eurostar service was not great. But I know it wasn't their fault, there was an issue in Rotterdam, so they were making the best of a chaotic situation as well. But that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe below and leave a nice comment. And let me know what else you would like to see from London, because I am planning to maybe go back this year by train and visit some plant shops and of course go back to Kew as well and meet all those lovely people again because it was so so nice to meet them in person most of them for the first time actually so a big thank you to the UK people for having me being so lovely and warm and I will see you in the next video bye